Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Carissa Shaylin. I'm a mom to a one-year-old as well as a wife to a mechanical engineer. And if you're not new here, well, hey, welcome back. I'm super glad to have you. I post every Wednesday and Friday and occasional Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, yeah, while you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and then when I'm posting next. Uh, today is gonna be a mud pie recipe. My husband's obsessed with mud pie. Um, I make it with coffee ice cream. So this is more like, I think they actually consider it a Mississippi mud pie, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, I'm gonna show you how to make that because he just finished his birthday one and now he wants another one. So I'm like, okay, fine. And this is like an all day process. They're really easy to make, but it's a tedious lawn all day process so I figured we'd start we'd make it I kind of put a spin on it myself of course um yeah it's not for me I don't like ice cream pies or cakes or anything like that if you're gonna ask me to go get a dessert ice cream's not typically my go-to but yeah so we're gonna make this um you are gonna need a full pack of Oreos, so like the family size. I prefer double stuff. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need hot fudge. You're gonna need coffee ice cream, which I'm not gonna pull that out right now. And then you're gonna need a tub of Cool Whip as well. So, with that being said, I'm gonna make my homemade crust. This is the same crust that's on the Oreo pie that I made for Thanksgiving. I'll link that somewhere up here if you want to check out that pie. Um, you're going to need to preheat your oven. 375. Let's go. You're going to need a blender or a food processor. If you have a food processor, I recommend using that, but I don't which is weird because like I have like every other gadget around. Hi Haley. I'm watching Robin Haley while I'm making this as well as listening to a podcast. I'm multitasking today. All while baby's down for a nap. So with that being said, like I said, we're going to make the Oreo crust first. So the Oreo crust has to be made first. Then it needs to freeze for a couple hours. Then we need to do the ice cream part. Then that freezes for a couple hours. And then we do the hot fudge part and that freezes for a couple hours. And then we'll do the Cool Whip top and that freezes for a couple hours. So like I said, it's an all day process. So let's get going. All right, so you're gonna need 24 Oreos as well as four tablespoons of melted butter and then we're gonna blend that all together for our crust. And a fast way of knowing how much four tablespoons of butter is, is also half a stick of butter. In the blender, it's gonna take a few times, so you're gonna also have to just like scrape down the crust part and keep blending a few times just so that you can get an even consistency. When you get it to where you want, then you're gonna dump it all in the pie dish and then start working it into a pie crust form.
It is a very sticky crust, so just a heads up. So you just pretty much pat it all down, make sure that it's like pie shaped form, and then we're gonna throw this in the oven for about 12 minutes. All right, so this just got finished baking, so it's set and it will stay hardened. I'm gonna let this cool down a bit and then I'm gonna throw it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and do the ice cream part of this. All right, for ice cream, I grab like a cereal bowl pretty much and just start scooping a bunch of ice cream out because you need the ice cream to be softened but I'm not gonna use the whole tub of ice cream so I don't want it all to be sitting out the whole time so I pretty much scoop a good three-fourths of this um, I think it's a quart size <laughs> of ice cream just to make sure that it's all getting nice and soft which is just like the perfect amount for the middle of this pie. Now that it's softened up, I'm gonna Scoop all the ice cream in. Try to make sure you get all that. It doesn't matter if it's all melted because we are going to be freezing it. Then you're going to just try to make it as smooth as possible and even as possible as well. This pie is like super simple, but it just takes a really long time. So make sure you do have enough time to make this pie. Once it's all soft, spread out, make sure you wrap it with plastic wrap before you put it in the freezer and then throw that in the freezer for a couple hours so that the ice cream gets all hardened again. Now for the top part of that you're gonna use the rest of the Oreos in that family size pack and then you're gonna crunch them all up. I use a rolling pin and just beat them to a bunch of pieces. Then from there, you're going to use the hot fudge. You're going to microwave the hot fudge just like how it says on the container. I think it was like a minute and then 20 seconds for every other thing. But I just did a, a minute and then I did probably about 10 seconds. Pour it into the jar or the bowl. <laughs> and then add all your cookie pieces. Try to get as much of your cookie in as possible. And then stir it all together and that will be your part of the top part of your pie. Make that all even, cover it back up, and then throw it back in the freezer. Once that's done, Ricky likes to add caramel drizzle. That is completely up to you. I would recommend putting it in the crust instead of on top of the crust instead of on top of the thing. It doesn't work very well. Make sure that you take your Cool Whip out um, probably about five to 10 minutes before you're gonna AKA frost your pie. I did not have it out for enough time that's why I was struggling with it a bit more than normal plus the caramel was another additive that I wasn't working with here th that I was on my last pie so I would definitely put the caramel down before you even put the ice cream down when you're gonna freeze your crust it's a lot easier
So I'm gonna cover this up and then throw it in the freezer and it is done. That is how you make the mud pie. This didn't come out as nice as my last one. I actually put the caramel drizzle down on the crust in the last one and that works so much better than putting it on top. But it is what it is. It is gonna still be absolutely delicious, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this. I hope it gave you a new recipe to try. I hope you guys all have a great day. Um, yeah, I love you guys oh so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification for any of our future posts so you don't miss anything. We've got some recipes and other stuff coming up. I love you guys oh so much. Mwah. Bye. It's turning out to be a perfect day. I just want to leave our normal lives behind us. So let's get lost out here.